Hey guys, it's Yao9 again, or, well, yeah, this is Yao9 again, and we're, I'm going Kaiju no Mura on you guys with Neo Kaiju, or actually, they're not Neo Kaiju, they're called Patchwork Monsters, Patchimon, and I'll get to their history later on. So, today we're reviewing the Wombat Toys Digorus, and the Skull Headbutt Majiras. So, I think they were the Sofovi Festival exclusives, and I, if I remember correctly, there were 50,000 only releases. So yeah, there's only 50,000 of these in the world, and I'm lucky to have one of each. Yay! Bought these at the San Jose Super Toy Comic Show for 10 bucks a piece. A little expensive, but compared to the Bolton, compared to the, you know, Bolton set, but it was worth it. I love Patchymon. So yeah, we'll start off with the Wombat Toys Tigeress. Now, first of all, let's take a look at the Wombat Toys logo. Yeah, it's hastily scratched on there. Now, for something that's been coming that came out of a postcard, this figure looks great. So I'll tell you about the history of these guys last. The guy, you know, the person, the person who moved, sculpted this thing did a very wonderful job. Every all the little scraps are car carved into itself themselves, and it's made of a very very light blue vinyl or hard plastic. It's very hard. It's got a really robust build, so you're not gonna break this figure easily. And of course, this figure only has one point of articulation, that is the head. It was a 360 without any problems. So yeah, you can play Decapitation. Or you can just, you know, have him, you know, shake his head like, No, 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 I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, CG, C, uh... Classic toy room has got some impact on me. Next, let's do the skull head, but Majiras, or if I made a mistake in this video, um, don't bother, don't hesitate to correct me. Like Digerus, the head only, only the head rotates, and I think this is pretty unique looking. One of my favorites. There's the skull head butt logo. Skull head butt. So yeah, um, the figure looks nice for being coming out of a postcard, and the face looks, you know, great. Same thing with the horn. Now the horn is painted with purplish silver, and the claws are just painted with dull um, silver. You know, it glows. It, it reflects light and it looks great. It looks beautiful. Um, the eyes are light blue with black pupils, and the, the um. The body is very, it's, um, very, very dark green. It, it looks like the, um, Deton color from Return of Ultraman. And, yeah, that leads on to, you know, the history of these Patrick monsters. Now, I th now, back in the day, um, Ultraman was just getting started. Ultraman, Ultra 7, Return of Ultraman. And, you know, they were really catching on with the public. And this company, I think it was called Zoman Co. I I really don't, I really forgot, I'm very sorry people, uh, made a bunch of these postcards that they sold in, um, Bubblegum, called Patchymon, and now they give, you know, a picture of a knockoff monster, for example, um, Zygris, you can see clearly that is, you know, it looks like Ella King with eyes and a bunch of random stuff on him, without a tail, and, and Majiras looks like, you know, Deton's body, it's not Telestan, it's Deton. Tazan is brown, Deton is very, very dark green, with Dari's head on top and a horn. Dari is an Ultra 7 monster. So, um, they sold these for, you know, 5 cents, I think, a piece, 50, 50 yen. Uh, I really don't, I really forgot, and if you want to see their postcards, I'll leave the, um, I'll leave the link on the bottom, on the bottom, on the, in the video description, and, yeah. So these toys were made just to celebrate the Sofovi festival, and uh, fortunately, and uh, for all you Patrimon lovers out there, I don't know, I don't, I really don't think there's a lot of you guys out there. I'm a Patrimon fan. Uh, there's this game called Patrimon Dynison. Just go to YouTube and search Patrimon, and you can download it. It's um, a modification on the MUG and console, and this guy's one of the playable characters. And since he is a playable character, I'll just explain to you um, what his basic moves are. His basic move is um, 
he shoots this beam out of his eyes that you can spam, and then he also um, throws out this energy ball that goes a pretty short pr short distance out uh, from his hands. And that's about, you know, that's best Zygarus for you. Uh, he hasn't appeared in MUG and yet. Well, these are both characters that you can download, that is. Uh, but um, I'm thinking about, you know, ripping stuff off his postcard and making him a character. So, you know, if, if I actually get around to doing that, I'll give you guys updates on whether you guys can play as him in your MUG and console. Oh! Ah. So, um, yeah, for basic, being based off a postcard, uh, Daigerus looked like this, and he was holding, I think, the, also Paris, the, the, the um, I, I felt tower in his hand, but I forgot what that tower was. He was only shown as a side view, he was, this side wasn't shown, but the artist just, you know, guessed. And I think it looks good. He was only shown like this, and I think they did a pretty accurate job on him. There are, and just to tell you, there are many, 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 billions upon millions upon billions upon billions of patchwork monsters out there. But, um, if you're lucky enough to even find these postcards that were really common, uh, I suggest you pick them up. And if you even find these figures for, you know, 10 bucks a piece, I suggest you buy it. These figures really weren't really that well packaged. They came in little plastic bags and everything, yeah. But the, the toys themselves have, you know, detail again, very nice texture to it. I think it was just the sloppiness of the sculptor or something like that. But it looks great. It looks fantastic. It looks awesome. And keep in mind those eyes. They look so lifeless and dead. Same thing with um, Majerus. Majerus has some um, very good texture, but he's just mostly smooth. He's not as good as the Wombat Toys one. So yeah, these were these are really cool toys, and you know, for ten bucks a piece, I don't grumble about it. Even though I try to you know try to get try to you know go for a bargaining with the seller, they won't keep, she, she won't budge. So yeah, bought these at the Comic Con. I mean not the Comic Con, the uh, Super. Super Toy Show, and I give these, you know, 5 out of 5, I don't see anything wrong with them, you definitely should buy, buy yourself one of these, and, but unfortunately these are pretty, very small, and they're easy to lose. For example, here's the 4 inch Bolton, Bolton Jr. toy, let's see, yeah. here's the 4 inch Bolton Jr., and you can see that, you know, these are small, and here's a 7 inch Monster here just for, you know, for, just for, you know, giggles and everything. So Masada just towers over Daigorus, and Majerus is even shorter than him, so, you know, I don't expect anything else. But these are definitely cool toys, and, you know, for what they look like, and, you know, for how much they will charge for, charge you for it, I, um, don't think it's a bad deal. I think it's a great deal, and I give them thumbs ups, and five thumbs up out of five thumbs ups, five, five out of five, and I recommend you pick it up. So this is Yanai, signing out.